Hello, my name is Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and I'm going to show you how to install a fiber optic cable fan out kit. Uh, this would be it right here and this one itself is uh, 36 inches long. They're also available in a 24 inch uh, size and let's go ahead and show you the fiber that we're working with today. This is a, a six strand loose tube fiber and I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece off of it and show you how uh, what's underneath there and since the fan out kit is 36 inches long we're going to want to take off uh, gee I, I would maybe say 38 a little bit more than the 36 inches um, that you would need in order for the strand to, the fiber to go ahead and fit inside the uh, loose tube kit so I'm going to quickly show you how to strip it off so we want to strip off the outer jacket and then what's underneath there, let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of the sheathing here and the pull rope. And then now for the loose tube, this is definitely, uh, the loose tube style fiber nowadays is more popular with the larger strand counts, the, uh, gee, I'd say maybe 24, 48, 96 up there. For the smaller size count, the six strand uh, type buffered fiber has definitely uh, been more popular due to uh, it's just this for one point the diameter of it is a lot thinner than the loose tube size and you don't need a fan, fiber optic cable a fan out kit when you do the installation so it is a little easier on the labor now underneath the loose tube you're going to want to go ahead and just, just barely dig into the tube itself it is kind of uh, it's it's a plastic kind of a hard plastic you want to make just a slight little cut and then it kind of comes apart fairly easily there we go and then underneath here we got all your six strands and the size of the six strands here is uh, 250 um now let's go to a piece of fiber here that i already have showing off to kind of save time on the video. These strands are very small. We have six strands available and you might want to tape your fiber to a desk and then go ahead and get your fan out kit. And you might also just want to tape it to the edge here. It'll make putting the individual fibers in one at a time a lot easier. Now, before we start putting them in there, you might want to get a uh, fiber optic cable cleaning nap. These are designed to go ahead and get rid of some of the gel on there. So you're going to want to basically just go ahead and try to slide it down throughout the entire uh, long stretch of fiber that we have exposed here. Go ahead and do it a couple times. Clean up all that gel. Sure, you might it might not get all of it off, but it will help. A uh, little trick of the trade is you might want to also get some baby powder, put some in your hand, and then just rub it down the the entire strands here so it'll make it a little smoother when you slide your glass into your fan out kit. Now we're going to start off with the orange. And we're going to want to go ahead and line up the orange strand with the orange strand in your fan out kit. Now we have it. Pull it out. Now we have it separated here. Now it's, I know it's hard to tell, but on the top of the fan out kit, it's also colored. Uh, you can see the colors of all the strands, so that way you know exactly which one to dump it into. So I got it in, you might want to push it in slowly, you might need to twist the glass a little bit to kind of push it in, and then you're going to want to also keep the, uh, the, the fan out kit itself, try to keep it straight and it'll make your fiber a little easier to slide in there. Pushing it in, keep pushing it in, keep pushing it in, and 
should have it pretty close. Now if you cut a really long piece, what you might want to do is once you have it exposed and coming out on the other end here, um, you might want to just go ahead and pull it on this end until it comes out and you're pretty much good to go. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the rest of these strands and um, our next step is to go ahead and uh, basically close the fan out kit, close it up. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like once you have all your strands popped in there. Go ahead and follow the coloring from one strand to the other. And then this is what it looks like on the other end once you have all the strands uh, taken out over here. You have your green, your green, your white, your white, your violet, violet, blue, blue, orange, orange, brown, brown. Now, when we come back to the connector, let's go ahead and take this tape off. And let's take it. Let's, let's, let's. This is usually how a lot of guys do it. They'll put it on something to where they can dangle it. It makes it a little easier. Okay, so. Now, the other part of the fan out kit, you kind of have these two pieces, and they got clips on the side of them, and they're going to kind of lock together. Now, as far as what's on the inside of these, sometimes there's additional clips or clamps that need to get squeezed with a, a pair of pliers, or there might be an additional clip. It's going to depend from manufacturer to manufacturer, and if you do have that, basically they're just in there to make sure that you're going to secure it. Uh, this part into the connector itself. Now, let's go and take this tape off. Let's take this off. Okay, so we you have your you got your fan out kit here, and then now this this part of the fan out kit, there are some slots in the outer part that is designed to go ahead and slide in there. I know it's really hard to tell. These are very small pieces, but you're basically just going to go ahead and make sure that fits right on in there. Okay, so I have it slid in there now. A couple um, little tips here that you might want to do, a lot of contractors have done, uh, is they'll go ahead and use a little bit of silicone, drop a little bit in there, and also on the end of the loose tube, when they uh, before they apply the cover to hold everything in place. The silicone alone ain't gonna hold it good enough but it will uh, help out, help keep everything in place and then there are additional little pieces like this one here that go in there that squeeze with a pair of pliers to hold everything in place better and then you have your other piece of course that once you snap everything together once it's all snapped together it's basically on and you're good to go the next step is to go ahead and, and strip your other end of the fiber and put your connectors on. Now on our website and our YouTube channel we also do have uh, another demo video on how to terminate fiber optic cable. If you have any questions call us 888-797-3697.